Movie monsters in the 1980s were on another level. Whether it be the alien from John Carpenter's The Thing, Jeff Goldblum's Brundlefly, or even the Rancor in Return of the Jedi, these creatures were instantly iconic. Especially space monsters from that period in time, which of course the 80s had no short supply of. Well, one specific type of monster happened to come out of a movie from New Line Cinema during their Freddy Krueger days. And these little beasts have a lot of things that set them apart from their contemporary friends. Unfortunately, they would get a bad rap of just being a mean ripoff of a Steven Spielberg property, but the truth is way cooler than what's popularly known. Critters is a 1986 horror comedy directed by Stephen Herrick. It stars Scott Grimes, Don Opper, and Dee Wallace, credited this time as Dee Wallace Stone, who I'm sure many fans of this channel will recognize from The Howling, another 1980s classic. Now, Critters is the awesome story of a small rural family falling under attack from intelligent creatures from outer space. Little furballs that have the ability to shoot projectile quills, operate machinery, and love to eat everything around them, including you. The story basically starts with a prisoner transport in space. These aliens have the ability to roll up into little balls and travel at fast speeds to anywhere they want to go. They have giant mouths filled with sharp teeth, speak in squeaky little gibberish noises, and are in the process of going to jail. But after the little monsters escape, alien bounty hunters are sent after them when the creatures head to Earth. By the way, is it just me, or does anyone else think Disney took more than just a little inspiration from this film? The Crites have stolen a ship. <laughs> The alien prisoners are known as Krites, little angry furballs with giant mouths that eat everything in sight. They're extremely intelligent, mischievous, and cause a lot of problems for everyone involved. The bounty hunters in question have the ability to transform their faces in order to blend in with the planet. The two we follow are hot on the critter's trail and end up going to Earth, messing up all kinds of stuff in the process. Their names are Ugg and Lee. Get it? And one of them ends up turning into an 80s rock star named Johnny Steele, while the other is left looking like a blank slate. Because, quote, nobody likes him. Critters ends up setting its story on the small family farmhouse where a drunk who claims he can hear space messages and the metal fillings in his teeth meets up with these people who are trying to live a normal life. Billy Zane gets eaten, a whole bunch of stuff blows up, and the monsters start doing some serious damage in the little community. What more could you ask for? Now, one of the things that people have long accused this movie of being is a cheap ripoff of another popular 80s monster movie that came out two years earlier, Gremlins. But ironically, the script for Critters predates Gremlins, and the movie has a lot of fun poking fun at the fact that it's kind of a darker and more funny movie than that other 80s hit. In fact, there's even a moment where one of the Critters looks at an E.T. plushie, another movie good old D. Wallace was in back in the day, and decides to bite its head off after saying hello. If you want a good summary of what to expect in this kind of movie, just know that Critters is to Gremlins what Sonic was to Mario. It's the younger, meaner brother of the more popular thing that has a lot of attitude and more crude humor. And this kind of humor, man, it's exceptionally funny. Now look, much like Tremors, back in the day, I loved me some Critters, and this was a series that I would have a ton of fun with when it came to old school, low budget monster movies. Originally, Roger Corman was supposed to make it, but after Bob Shea over at New Line, which remember was a brand new company back then trying to establish themselves, after they got wind of it, he wanted to make the movie more, and that's how these studios kind of established themselves back in the day. Much in the same way Universal Studios built a company off of sequels to Dracula, The Wolfman, and Frankenstein, New Line Cinema was busy making A Nightmare on Elm Streets 3 and 4 and several Critters movies, which eventually led them to make, oh gee, I don't know, only the greatest film trilogy of all time. We all gotta start somewhere, and trust me when I say that Critters is definitely a place I'd be proud to start. Dee Wallace, by the way, is incredible in this movie. Her acting is so good that it just, it feels like it shouldn't even be in the scene. It's almost like those scenes where Laura Dern is screaming from the T-Rex or Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. Like, that's a good movie, but damn girl, you're like on 
on another level. This is too good acting for the little scenes that you're in. And Critters is great. She has excellent scenes of genuine concern and terror. The other characters like Ugg and Lee are really fun when they're blowing up bowling alleys or doing crazy stuff <laughs> around town. It's really well acted. It's a really fun script and it's something that I think a lot of people are going to have fun with. The Critters themselves are equally as iconic. I mean, look at these guys. Turn them blue and give them ears and you basically got copyright infringement. By the way, the designs of the Krites actually come from another group of dudes we've mentioned before in the past. The special effects for Critters was done by the Kyoto Brothers, and boy did they knock it out of the park with this one. The best thing I can compare them to is a mix between the Tasmanian Devil and a Gremlin, which is even more funny given that that's what people usually accuse them of being a knockoff of. But no, in my opinion, Critters is a whole lot of original fun. If you've never seen this movie before, do yourself a favor and check it out. Because just like classic special effects horror in the same vein as The Deadly Spawn, The Howling, and other 1980s works, Critters is a movie that I think deserves to be seen. Is it the greatest film ever made? Absolutely not. But it is one of the most entertaining comedies about bounty hunters killing little aliens gone wild. And man, that's really saying something as far as my professional opinion is concerned. I really love Critters. I grew up watching the first two a lot. Not a big fan of what came later, but when it comes to that first movie, it's really great. And I'd go as far to say that if you want something extra special, watch Critters 2, the main course. It's awesome in every way. Anyways, guys, those are all just my own thoughts on the first Critters. What do all of you think? Have you ever seen this movie? And if so, what are your thoughts? Also, what do you think about the Krites themselves as far as special effects go, the design of the creature, and how iconic they would become for science fiction and comedy later on in the years? Personally, I think this is an exceptionally fun time, but hey, whatever your own thoughts on this film happen to be, I'd love to hear all of those opinions in the comments down below.